I'm going to go back to NBR and this is how to be aware of yourself and all around you and to keep that separation yet being aware of everything is to understand that everything that's outside of the body is for you to use your senses to give signal back to the body in how you feel towards something and when we get that understanding of a thought or pattern that it is of thinking and how we relate and how it brings about our feelings what we do is when we're finished whatever we're doing during the day or at that moment in time or as the day passes by and we get home we have our own thing to do family, friends, whatever to enjoy that moment in time and not to be stuck in the past and all that you've been thinking and doing and during the day and during the week to keep yourself aware and to keep yourself in the moment is by remembering that pattern of thought that every time that you're using your senses you're using them to create a message to get back to yourself to feed who you are so you want to be feeding yourself some positive messages don't you if you want a positive outcome you need to feed yourself some positive messages positive feeling just to be that positive person living in the moment and this is what this brings about keeping that awareness awake at all time and when you keep that awareness awake at all time you know if you've been sucked in to external forces or you're getting caught up in the external forces whether it be something you hear or see most likely it's something that you'd hear or see that I find not really what you taste that all comes to food and smell and that but if you touch something or someone nudged you or can't know it could use that as an example either but it's how you look at it and what way you reflect back on it is the reflection that you will shine out from you so if you were reflect that in a negative way well, the country is going to talk about you acting in such a way that was unacceptable just an example where if you were acting that it was great and uh, not to worry about it oh, it was just a mistake and uh, everything's cool uh, such a great day isn't it carrying on in a positive way would make you shine out and be that right person that you really are it's just how you choose to be and for example if that was the situation that you were in you can simply or if you put yourself in a situation like that you can simply see how you can get caught up in a person's vibration and how they're acting how heightened it is the more heightened it is the more inclined you be to get caught up in it um, if someone was giving you abuse or something it'd be very hard just to walk away and leave it where you'd have to retaliate with something but what would be the best thing to do? to walk away because it gets so heightened we'd be more inclined to feel that energy and it would give us a lift ourselves so we would retaliate but if you want to do the best for you then what you would do is walk on or ignore it or pass it off as it's just one of them things that's there because it's meant to be there but that's the way everything is when you can do this you realise that well you don't need to have a perception or a judgement on anything um, it's not benefit it's no benefit to you in these situations anyway not that they're dragging you down and giving you that negative way of feeling and thinking so what you do is you feed yourself some positivity you can keep that awareness awake and understand that you're using your senses at all times and be aware of what senses you're using 
when you're using them, how you're using them, and what way they are reacting with you, how you're feeling towards how you're using your senses. Are you using them wisely to help you? Are you using them for short fixes? Makes you feel like crap later on. Which way are you using your senses? And as you open this awareness up, you, you will see how everything is not the way it is. It's not the way that you would see it in a physical form that you would start to begin seeing things that there's more than one way of looking at it. There's more than one way that you can perceive or to have that perception that you can see it in its true form before it comes into that um, physical reality where it becomes a perception of what you see it as. But you will start to see everything where it's coming from and how all it's connected to one another. How we do have perceptions of things and that's how we have them perceptions that leaves us in who we are. And if we take away out our perceptions of things and put in what we want to put in and follow our feelings, then we can have a great life. It's just by being positive putting in positive thoughts and feelings towards whatever it is that we are at, preferably following our hearts and the desire that we have for something, and moving forward and progressing all in that, feeding ourselves with all that positivity, leaving us there as that positive person, positive being, who we weren't beforehand. So hopefully this helps you and if there's any questions you need help with in your thoughts, feelings or emotions or if you're dealing with anything like anxiety, depression or anything like that please just leave a message and we can talk or discuss about it one on one um, I went through it all myself so I know how to change it, how to adapt, how to adapt from it I know how hurtful it can be and how hard it can be to change but I've done it and I still find it hard some days now and again but majority of the time it's easy it, it is easy anyway it's just understanding and how to think that's the first step and once you got that the feelings came afterwards slower but it's practice. Practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more perfect it will be for you and the more perfect the life your life will become for you. So this is Mind Body Reprogramming and thank you for watching. And if you like my videos please hit subscribe and hit the bell. And thank you again.